you're going to go wash that today, which I'm not. It'll probably be another day or so before I do. Then make sure that you brush off on your uh, clean towel any excess from the brush. And it's fairly clean, actually. But I didn't use it for anything but blending. All right, so I've already got my liners on, and my face is looking super uh, powdery. Not powdery, um, the opposite. It's looking red. It's because I ran up and down the stairs twice before I came up here. Um, this is a Morphe R10, which is a blush brush, or that's what I'm using it for. And I'm going into this palette. This is highlighted up here, and this is not. So I'm making sure that when I brush down, when I come here, I'm going almost vertical right there because that has highlighter in it. Like that. There. Yeah, I am very red faced. I have to get this at an angle. There we go. Because I want to keep that highlighter on the upper part. There we go. And then the dark right here in the lower where you suck in to build you a bit of a, um, sorry, there was a little fuzz and I just caught it with this brush. So there. I do like this uh, blush because it just looks like you're flush. I was actually flush and this kind of finished it out. Um, I am also going to go under the nose and under the chin with the same color, mainly the darker color. And I'm going to cut in, cut in, right at the jowl, right at the jowl, again right at the chin, and then blend down really, really good. Also, a little bit on the hairline, and come in at the temples and round it out. Round it out at the temple again. Now, if that's too pink, which to me it is, one of the things that you can do is come back with some bronzer, or either take some of it back off with a buffing brush and so because I don't have bronzer handy I'm just going to do the latter. I'm just going to um, kind of use a buffing brush and get some of that back off. There. Yeah, I did a little too much right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take one of these two palettes and use something on my eyelid that is shiny. Now I can either use this halo or I'm going to tell you, just because it's snowy, I'm going to go back to this um, aura color right here in the beginning. And that bright, and I'm, and ah, oh, it doesn't have a mirror. I'm going to go right in the center of my lid. And that is a beautiful white, almost a little bit of a yellow to it. And I'm barely going to touch it to the middle. Mostly keeping it right there. Um, I'm sorry, in the inner eye. Most of it keeping it to the middle. I've said that all wrong. All right, what I'm trying to say is I really want to keep the brightest part of this in the middle of the eye lid. And then slightly pulling back as I go forward so that I'm not putting too much down as I get towards the inner area. I'm going to have to flick off a good bit of fallout because this is very... Um, I'm using a um, Sigma F55 dual fiber brush. And I literally am holding it very close, and that just gets off any flicks of excess anything. I love that brush. I used to say, I would not use that brush, but I do. Again, I'm using my finger, and I just feel like that works better than anything else for a shimmer. And I just put down right in the middle of the lid and just really go over that and then come in a little. Now, you can see it's not very precise to use your finger. We'll, we'll have to clean that up. And do not go too far out. It also kind of touches uh, base on what's under the eyelid. I'm going to go to the end of the nose. Cupid's bow. You'll have to um, kind of fix that because it's going to be too much. And then on top of the chin right there. Maybe a little right there at the, on the forehead, one of the bones. I don't go on both sides. And that just gives a little bit of a shimmer too much on the Cupid's bow. So I'm going to kind of tone that down. There we go. Just enough. All right, and so I do like this palette. I think it's one of those things that's only for specialty. Um, now I need to reinforce my lip because I already did my lips earlier today, so I'm going to need to. I'm um, just for the sake of vibrancy, I'm going to add a little color, color back. It doesn't really need it. Uh, this is Chanel 
soft rose lip intense and I love it nothing else stays on literally all day and as soon as you apply it it's done it's done for the day Now, like I said, I'm adding a little back because I'm filming color vibrancy, but the color was actually there. So, blow in and out. It dries it. Go to the other end. Look at this high, high gloss. Very shiny, very moisturizing. And one of those, and it sets the product. I can go and drink. Nothing no transfer at all because now it's the highlighter the clear highlighter that's on top and so the color is underneath it's locked in underneath um, I did do a liner earlier which was my boo-boo but I am gonna go ahead and reinforce that because I don't know why sometimes I do that before I'm even done with my makeup so you can see there is um, some mascara that I already did and some liner that I already did. And I know not why. I don't know why I went ahead and just did that when I'm not, I wasn't finished with eyeshadow. I was just in the mood to go out of order today, y'all. And I obviously need to reinforce the what was on the, um, there's a little fuzz. I see that fuzz. It's microorganism small. And I saw it. I'm amazing. This is the Tarte or Tartist. One end is the liner, the other end, I mean, is the liquid liner to make your um, cat eye upper lid, and the other is the crayon for lower waterline. And that is great to have in your purse, so if you ever want to do touch ups, it's all in one piece. Y'all know that my favorite product is the DHC liner, just because it's a finer pen. That is the liquid. Eyeliner EX, and I absolutely love this. It's my all-time favorite. I am going to do um, a you must have this in your makeup pouch uh, video. Like, I must, like, if I was running out of money and I had to have certain makeup products, what would they be? I'm going to do that. Because there's some that, I mean, short of not needing makeup at all because we're starving to death or in the end times or something, if it's just, you know, you got to have this makeup above all other makeups. You know, I don't think it's so much thinning, y'all. Look at that. As it is, that's not bare. That's hair. As it is, the color's not made it all the way down to the root, and that's gray. I'm going to talk to my girl. But anyway. All right. Where did that come from? All right. So, um, so did I do everything? No, I didn't touch up my mascara. I need to touch up my mascara. It looks gross. Everything looks gross. What's this? Oh, Tarte Shape Tape. I didn't use any. Because I used the other concealer. Don't put concealer on concealer. That would be a double mistake. I don't see any mascara here. I'm feeling... I'm feeling... Okay, I feel better. Alright, what is this? This is the Tarte Man Eater. I think it's so pretty because it's gold. It matches all my Morphe brushes back here. Okay, so you cannot redo your uh, brush because I've already done it once, but I can touch this up because I already already did my mascara once today. And then I put every all the product back over it, everything. So it just like went on top of my mascara. I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. So now I've got to kind of tip that out because the, the right next to the waterline has got a lot of mascara, but the tips don't. Because it's got powder on it. That's why I told y'all it's so important to tip out your lashes. There we go. And wiggle, wiggle down. Wiggle, wiggle down. Wiggle, wiggle down. Wiggle down, down. Wiggle, wiggle down. Wiggle down, down. That is our southern subbies. Way to do the lower lash line. Yeah, that touched it up pretty good, don't you think? And then, don't go in and out a bunch, just go in and out once. Otherwise, you'll take a bunch of air in and out, and it will just dry out your barrel. Your canister, your cannon, your tube, 
of mascara. I just hit my hair. Did y'all see that? I also just hit my nose. I am just not having it together today. I don't know what my problem is. Wiggle, wiggle down. Wiggle, wiggle down. Wiggle, down, down. A wiggle, wiggle down. Wiggle, down, down. Can y'all say that with me? Wiggle, wiggle down. Wiggle, down, down. I know one of you did. Was that you, Jessica Brown, that was saying wiggle, wiggle down, wiggle, down, down? Comment below if that was you. I think it was. <laughs> Who is Jessica Brown? She's a southern subby that I believe just won. What did she win? Did you win the New Year's? I think you won New Year's. I did not tip this out. And I need to. Okay. How's that? I don't know. I still don't feel like I did good. Okay, so here is a great lesson. I'm looking very bright and very shiny because I and I wanted to because of the beautiful snow that is in the area and I wanted to have my beautiful snow shirt on with my beautiful snow um, earrings and have beautiful kind of snowy looking eyes but you know one thing I noticed about this product it's got a clear yellow undertone to it and I wanted white because I'm wearing white like these kind of whites these two but these are both matte and I wanted shimmer so maybe the Natasha Denona because it was more opalescent white it has more yellow I've got others to choose from and we'll look at them next time so we're going to do this again and again until I get it wrong oh done oops that's my Persona Extra that was the identity palette. The skinny dip. Let's see. Oh, uh, well, it had silver. Let's put silver on too. Why not? This was the skinny dip palette. Remember that I got this this summer. I'm gonna use some right in the center. I'm gonna 